doing maintenance the other week and I found this uh, disconnect inside here. It's tripped. It's actually a breaker as well. And I shut it off. And we're going to go right now and see if we can find out what's wrong with it. So at first glance here, everything seems to look half decent. Not seeing any major issues. I'm not seeing any signs of carbon tracking or anything like that. So I'm going to go through this with my meter and check all the loads out. And if I have to pull my mega out, I'll do that. So if there's a short, it's proving to be a tough one. I've checked everything with my meter. Um, the visual inspection was good. Now I think it's time to get down and dirty with the Megger. See if we can track something down. We're making some progress here. Now when I Meg stuff out, I start right at the terminal block, right at the beginning. And that way it leads me in the direction that I need to go most of the time. So, what I did is I disconnected the wiring off the line side of all these contactors, all right? And I went with my Megger each time I did it. And I checked back at the terminal block. So everything's, everything's connected up right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the button on my Megger, which is connected to one side of the terminal block and the other side is connected to to ground right there okay you see that bad light now I've already found the problem I'm going to show you what happens when I disconnect a couple of wires. See in there you can see in behind the blue and the black wire there's a couple stake on, there's a black one and then there there's a blue one as well. Those are for the crankcase heater for one of the compressors. So let me show you what happens when I disconnect these wires. We go back up to the mega hit the light that bad reading has gone away now we have a, a bit of a caution but it is damp outside and I find that when I use this mega when it's damp sometimes I get a caution reading because of the dampness but the bad reading has definitely disappeared so take this a step further here we have the mega now connected to one lead of the crankcase heater and to verify our diagnosis there we go there we have the bat again so one last indication that the crankcase heater is gone is we got an open reading across it so that crankcase heater is open and it's making out bad with the SUPCO 500. So my best guess is, actually it's not a guess, it's verification from two different instruments that we have a bad crankcase heater that caused our breaker to trip. So do you need more verification? Well, look at that burn mark right on the crankcase heater. I think we can put this one in the bag and call it. This unit's getting a new crankcase heater and I think it's gonna solve the problem with our trip breaker. Happy HVACing guys.